Hello everyone. Let's see a question from linear differential equations. So let's start this question. So how to start this question? So if you let this d by dt as capital D for some time, okay, and consider because we are doing uh, with respect to t. So x will be your dependent variable and your t will be independent variable independent variable so considering this let's start with this question so this can be written as uh, d of x equals to y plus 1 and the second equation can be written as d of y equals to x plus 1. So these are the two equations. Let's name them equation number 1 and equation number 2. Now what we can do? Uh, we can uh, try eliminating uh, one of these equations. So how can we do that? Uh, if you look at uh, the given equations then we can uh, let's suppose not give this name equation 1 and 2 write it in a different way d of x minus 1 equals to 1 and d of y minus x equals to 1 now if you see either you can multiply first equation by d we, you can operate first equation on d that will eliminate because here also dy here also dy or you can multiply second equation by uh, op operate second equation on d so you will get dx here and dx here that will eliminate so this is our required equation equation number one and equation two you can you would have done this from here also but this looks better now i will say that uh, operate equation 1 by d that means operate equation 1 by d simply means differentiate equation 1 both side with respect to d okay so what will you get then you will get d2x because one time derivative was already there we differentiated it again minus d of y equals to d of 1 Second equation remains as it is. That is d of y minus x equals to 1. Now if you simply add this two. So dy and dy will get cancelled. You will get uh, d2x minus x equals to d of 1 plus 1. Now d was what? d was simply d by dt. So d of 1 if they are asking. That means they are asking d by dt of 1. Now you know derivative of a constant is 0. So this will become 0. Also we can take x common. So d square minus 1x. This becomes 0 equals to 1. Okay. Now this becomes a simple equation. And you have to keep it in mind that dependent variable and independent variable what is there. Now find auxiliary equation. So that will be. Replace d by m. So m square minus 1 equals to 0. You are getting m as m as 1. Sorry, m square as 1. So m equals to plus minus 1. Okay. So if you want to write the complementary function. Complementary function is always there in terms of independent variable okay so there you remember where y was your dependent variable and x then we used to write cf equals to c1 e power m1x and c2 e power m2x so there x was independent so here t is independent so c1 e power m1 is 1 and m2 is 2 so e power 1 into t plus c2 e power minus 1 into t this is your complementary function 
Now coming to the particular integral. So what will be your particular integral? It will be 1 upon f of d. What is f of d? d square minus 1. That will operate on whatever is in RHS. RHS we have 1. 1 we can easily write at e power 0. Now whenever you have e power ax, we, what we do? We just replace this d by a. So a here is simply 0. Okay. So uh, you can uh, write this as e power 0 t to be better. Okay. Now this is 1 upon the, replace this d by 0 so 0 minus 1 operating on e power 0 t which is again 1 so 1 upon minus 1 and this is 1 only so you are getting your particular integral as minus 1 my uh, final solution is always dependent variable equals to cf plus pi cf is c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t plus your pi which is minus 1 this is your x now again keeping this x in first equation so d of x d is a derivative with respect to t so d by dt of x which is c1 e power t plus c2 e power minus t minus 1 and minus y equals to 1 what i am doing i am exchanging i am taking 1 to that side and y to that side. So minus 1 equals to your y which is which we want. Now derivative of e power t with respect to t is e power t only. So c1 e power t. Here you will get c2 e power t but it will be divided by minus 1. So minus c2 e power minus t. This derivative will become 0 and you will get this minus sign equals to y. So you have got y you have got x. So this x is your solution and this y. We are required to find the values of x and y and we have done it easily. So let's see again what we did. dy dt was d. We considered x as dependent variable and t as independent variable. And then we got two simultaneous equation which we operated first by d so that we can eliminate. You would have also operated second equation by d so that dx and dx get cancelled we got a simpler uh, equation which we already know as we have solved a lot of problem from linear differential equation with constant coefficient and this was never going to be uh, that typical now once we got the value of x it was uh, no way difficult to find the value of y and which was our main task to find the value of x and y so i hope you enjoyed this question thanks and have a very nice day